Okay, you think we're high enough? Oh yeah, ready to be the Falcon? Oh yeah, folding wings into dive position. Letting gravity take over! 80 kilometers per hour. Engage, Falcon eye covers. 240 kilometers per hour. Zackbot's in sight. Three hundred eighty kilometers per hour. Going with Urban Talent Strike. And Talent Grab. Whoa! I have more where those came from. Uh oh. Dive! Woohoo! To the creature rescue! Peregrine Falcon powers are awesome! Oh. Bring it on, birdie boys! They are not getting to that falcon nest. This could go on forever. But if you guys get Zack's controller, I have an idea. More, more, more! I'll wipe that little puffball off the face of my building forever! You make them, we break them. And then I make more. My box will overwhelm you. Hey, what's this? That's my controller, you bird brain. Give it back. Aviva was looking for this. Thanks, MK. Clean up, clean up, clean up. That would be a good time for that idea. Whew. Let's see. If I bypass the control circuitry and reroute the main command function... Got it! Initiate BirdBot sequence. What? No! Hey! What's happening? Hello, Zach. What? You! I thought you and your Zachbots might like to fly south for a vacation. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Just until the falcon chick hatches. After that would be a better time to clean your building. Yeah! Oh! Hey! Put me down! I don't like vacation! You really need to relax. Have a nice trip! Whew! Good one, Aviva. Well, we all wanted to get a good look at a peregrine falcon chick. I can't believe the world's fastest flyer could be living on top of any building. Cool creatures are everywhere. Flying free and in the city. Falcon City. Fluff's flapping her wings. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears a furry hat in the desert? Not anymore. Koala balloon. Uh, koala balloon's got a grip. Oh yeah, sure does. He's got five fingers on each paw, and on the front ones, two of them move separately like thumbs. That's how koalas can hold tightly onto branches. Or my nose! And why koalas are such great climbers. Oh no, not again. Hey, koala balloon, you ever notice that Chris's shirt is green? Like a eucalyptus leaf? Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to my world, dude. Can't hear you, Chris. You got a fuzzy marsupial on your face. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Just had a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Koala balloon's gone! <gasps> that can only mean trouble. And that trouble's name is Dingo. A whole oh, pack of dingoes! dingoes. We gotta find Koala Balloon before they do! 
Koala Balloon, where are you? Where could that marsupial be hiding? There he is, Martin! Grab him! Gotcha! <laughs> Chris, go long! What? I have an idea! Coming at you, Chris! Got him! Hang on to Koala Balloon for as long as you can. Oh, easy for you to say. Hurry, Martin. Martin, is this really the best time for an art project? It is when it's a koala decoy. If it looks like a koala and smells like a koala, then it is a koala. Okay, Chris, toss him over. It's about time. Yeah. The old switcheroo. Oops! Oh no! I've dropped my tender, juicy baby koala! All right, they fell for it! There's always time for a little art. Ah. Whew, that was close. The good news is, we covered a lot of ground with that dingo chase. The bad news is, we went five kilometers in the wrong direction. Oh, it would have been nice to travel at night when the desert's cool, but it looks like we're gonna be spending the night in this tree. Yep, can't take a chance having the koala anywhere near the ground. Nope. Yep, good night, Martin. <sighs> good night, Chris. Good, good night, night, koala, koala balloon. balloon. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, Martin, koalas are active at night. So he's going to stay up all night, and we've got to keep an eye on him. Oh, morning, Chris. Morning, Martin. What is that? My extra-sensitive falcon eyesight, capable of spotting a duck from two kilometers away. His spotting... Spots? Spots from inside Zack's machine? Time to stoop. Also known as a falcon dive. In a stoop, a falcon flies over 300 kilometers per hour. What's going on in there? I knew it! He's using a cheater to power his machine. Ha <laughs> ha, but not anymore! Yeah! Whoa! Blur! Chris, Zack's using a cheetah! Blur's afraid to jump! Do the zigzag. I'm on it. You can still win this race! I knew I couldn't rely on wild cats or not be bothered by wild rats. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? It's wild crats. <laughs> Rocket boosters. Uh oh, I've still got the power to make it to the finish line with uh, maximum cheetah velocity. Zack. You're still cheating. You're flying. No, I'm not. See that polymer string? It's touching the ground. So technically, I'm on the ground, not flying. Huh? <laughs> Are you kidding me? But hey, if you want to keep cheating, then we Wildcrats will just keep cheating. Go, Aviva, go! To the finish line with Creature Power! Cheetahs love to tackle any kind of gazelle. Uh-oh, obstacles ahead. Engage cheetah tail balance. Going. 
Ooh, Zack is out of this one. But we still have a race. Hmm. Oh no, I'm out of here. Oh. Woohoo! Yeah! Blur by a whisker. Uh oh, Martin! Gariel! To the left! <gasps> there are predators in this river! So they wouldn't be crossing unless it was for something really important. We gotta make sure they make it! Swim! Everybody, do your best monkey paddle! Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> Hurry, Nosy! Oh, alarm call, please don't fail me now! <gasps> I did it! I did the kerhunk! <laughs> Hang on, Nosy! It's gonna be close! Where is it? Where is it? Got it! Crocodile! And a gharial is a type of crocodile. I hope it works. Activate creature power suit! Carnivore to the herbivore rescue! Hey! Now there's one carnivore I love to see. Nice one, bro. Right back at you. Awesome kerhonk. Let's hear that again. It'd be a pleasure. <laughs> ah, I did it. I am officially a proboscis monkey with a full kerhonk. <laughs> Just a little too late. Look, the monkeys are gone. Oh, no. We let the troop down. I let Schnozzel down. We lost his troop. Hi, guys. Aviva, we messed up. The troop lost faith in us. They're gone. Schnozzel's gonna be so sad. Well, he might be happier than you think. <gasps> Schnozzle! He's feeling all better, so I brought him back. But I must have gotten turned around and ended up on the wrong side of the river. So that's why all the monkeys crossed the river. They heard Schnozzle's call. <laughs> you do that kerhonk best, Schnozzle. And they all know it. But did you see how I really had it down at the end there when the Gariel came? Huh? Mission accomplished. We kept Schnozzle's troop together and got him back home. And we found out why proboscis monkeys have such big noses. Great job filling in for Schnozzle, Martin. Thanks. I'll never forget how important proboscis monkeys' noses are. <laughs> Not only do they look good to the other proboscis monkeys, but they make that all important alarm call, which I mastered, by the way. The most beautiful face in the world for any troop of proboscis monkeys. Hmm, not bad for a crat brother either. <laughs> as soon as he leads us to the cub, we'll have them both. Uh -huh. A hat and stole. Sensational. Who stole your hat? Uh, nobody stole my hat. I'm going to steal a cheetah cub to be my hat. A stole is what I wrap around my shoulders. Huh? Just keep driving. Chris! Way to pull off the rescue. Yeah, I sneaked in, grabbed the cheetah and Danita's controller. So now I can unfreeze Blur by pushing this button. Hmm. Did you think I would leave my controller lying around? I gave you a fake, a decoy, a knockoff. <laughs> a mimic. Yes, I have the authentic controller. Whoa. 
Not a step further or I'll freeze you in your tracks. Now, which one of these fluffy cubs do I want? Okay, Danita, take one. What? If you have the mother, you should have the cub. A matching set, I get it. Just leave us the bigger, fluffier one. Whatever you do, please don't take the bigger, softer, most beautiful one. Grab the bigger, softer, most beautiful one. Let's go. Aw, oh, Martin, what did you do? Why'd you just hand over the cheetah cub? I didn't. There's Spot Swat, the cheetah cub. But then, wait for it. Wait for it. What Danita took wasn't a cheetah cub. Danita was fooled by nature, by mimicry. What looked like a cheetah cub was really... A honey badger, wow! Now that is mimicry in action. Okay, Blur, now let's bring you back to life. <laughs> Doesn't get any cuter than this. Hey, honey badger, want another toy to play with? Kind of cute too. In a ferocious don't mess with me or I'll destroy you kind of way. Oh yeah, honey badgers and cheetahs living free and in the wild. <gasps> hey, that's my line. Hmm, I'm gonna name you Muttonhead. You just named yourself Muttonhead. You just named yourself Muttonhead. Mimicry. Stop mimicking me. Stop mimicking me. <laughs> <laughs>